Good evening, everyone. Welcome in here to Bear High School as homecoming week continues. We've got the seniors versus the juniors here at Powder Puff. Hope you enjoyed last year's coverage and you're waiting for this one to start. We're only about a couple minutes before we start here. Again, we'd like to thank you for hopping on and watching. Whether it's live or after the fact, we thank you for your support. And of course, the support of all the sponsors who make everything we do here possible. That would be all of them right there on your screen. If you want to thank us, go thank them for bringing you the most Bear Sports coverage here in the fall sports. We're hitting the midway through a lot of these sports. Football's, I think, pretty much in the middle. You got soccer that's already over the hump, starting on the back end, and volleyball just hit the halfway point yesterday. Before you know it, we'll be in playoffs and thinking about winter sports. So the seniors are gonna be wearing the red jerseys. Juniors will be in the white. Of course, we got Claire Wood down on the field. She'll be doing your interviews and your Valley View different view of the game. Again, brought to you by Valley View Granite. We'll have our CNR replace. We'll have our Frank May first downs and our new court steals. For the rest of the week, our slate looks like we got Lady Bears soccer coming up tomorrow. I'll be taking on the Skyview Bobcats. That'll actually be senior night. So I have a little early coverage of all the seniors getting recognized. Then we'll finish homecoming week off with a homecoming game with Bear River taking on Skyview in football. Bear River coming off a loss against Ridgeline. He used to be the number one in 4A. They dropped to number two probably because of that game, but Spanish Fork staying on top number one now. Skyview comes in as number three in the RPI come Friday. But we'll get to into that a little bit later on in the week. For now, we're having some fun here at Powder Puff. It'll be fun to see who shows up here for the seniors after playing last year's juniors. He had Gracie Meads. Show how fast she was last year. And these seniors will actually start with the ball. Again, seniors in red. Ladies and gentlemen. And juniors in white. Welcome out to today's 2024 Powder Puff game. All right, let's hear it for these players, these girls out here today risking it all, putting their lives on the line. Speaking of Gracie, you might have her in the backfield with Olivia, who is the quarterback, and she'll scramble out of the right for the first play. And she's got a good gain. Uh, Frank Mace could do first down, more down the sideline, and she keeps running, and the belt falls off at around the 30-yard line. Good first play from the seniors. Olivia Meads showing off her speed. Mentioned her sister Gracie, but... Also fast. You like to thank CNR Trailer Sales 
in your replay sponsor. Pressure to announce here for the seniors. And a little delayed handoff and going to be flag pulled. Big loss here for the seniors. Good pull by number seven here of the juniors. Looks like Cambry Crane. It's that tackle for a loss. Handoff was to Gracie Meads. Let's hear from them. Seniors will break huddle. Getting the Meads in the backfield. Work the first time. They go back to it. Olivia to the sideline and skips. Going to be just shy of the nice first play. down. But again, another good run here for Olivia Meads. Give credit to that blocking up front here for the seniors. So third and one here for the seniors. All right, here we go, lining up. Juniors look like they're bringing a bunch of pressure. Yeah, It'll be a dive up the middle and the flag will be pulled. Brings up fourth down here for the seniors, does not make it, no gain on the play. Bunch of white jerseys in there. Stuff on the run. Again, the seniors will huddle up. Running clock, we hit the 12 minute mark here in the first. Going to keep it on the ground. Olivia's got the first down. Going to the end zone, and there's a touchdown here for the seniors. A touchdown for the seniors. They're already in the lead four minutes in. Olivia Meads. Ran around the end both times on the right. First time on the left. Gets six points. So a six-point lead over the seniors early on. And going for the two-point conversion. I don't know if they even allow him to kick. Here's a handoff. Cutting inside and gets in. No. Oh, juniors. Take the point away. It'll be first up now here for the juniors' first offensive possession. One more look at the touchdown here for the yeah, two-point conversion. Just getting pulled just shy. And we'll actually take it down to the field here for the first time. We got Claire Wood with Olivia. Take it away. So celebration, completely amazing. First touchdown of the game goes to the seniors. Mm -hmm. What inspired the celebration you guys had down there? Really, for soccer, we've been wanting to do that. And to be able to do it in football yeah, for our yeah. first touchdown, even from last year, we so it was nice to get one. have a celebration. So. Yes, definitely. And you definitely cooked it up on the field. Thank you were you. doing so good. One last question. How badly are, do you think you're going to beat the juniors today? Uh, I have a score prediction, maybe like 36-0. Well, you heard it here first. 36-0 to zero for the seniors. Thank you, Liv. Good luck. Uh, thanks, Claire. First play from the juniors. Going to run over to the far side. Oh. 
Will we go for no gain? It'll be second down here for the juniors. Clock almost hit nine minutes. Again, still in the first. Second and 10. I think Brooklyn Brill is the quarterback here for the juniors. And they're going to call a timeout here to just reset. We'll get quickly back to the line. Brooklyn and Shotgun. Be a little pitch over to the far side and quickly flag pulled into the back. For a loss, going to bring up third and long here for the juniors. You have yet to see him go to the air either the seniors or the juniors, maybe this will be an opportunity now to air it out. This is now third and 15. No, they keep it on the ground with a pitch. Gonna bring it left. Good block and goes to the ground. And we'll have our Miller Medical moment is going down and holding her knee. Looks to be Annie Duncan. Man, she had a lot of room in front of her. One more look at it here on the CNR replay. Look at the blocking up there and just tries to juke back outside. Goes down. So that'll take us to our Miller Medical moment. He says it's supposed to be for fun. Hope it's only one that we have here in this one. But again, Sean Norton out on the field. And checking things out. Clock stop at 6.56. With this, we'll step aside. Thank some of our sponsors. We'll be right back. back here to Bear River High School and able to get up off the field a little bit gingerly but hopefully she's not injured too bad we continue on here seven and a half minutes Brooklyn with a pass and almost going for a tackle as a seniors Another player down. Another junior or senior down this time. Not a good way to start Powder Puff. Uh, 
Not sure if we'll be able to see anything. Happened there is the incomplete pass. Take another look here from this side. I don't know, don't quite know who it is yet. Another Miller medical moment. Stops the clock seven minutes and 27 seconds. We'll step aside once again. We've got another injured player down on the field. We will step aside. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. With over 60 years of experience and personalized service, Guild Mortgage is your key to home ownership in Box Elder County and beyond. Friends and neighbors you know and trust. Trudy. Chris, Julie, Shannon, Rollin, Tara, Brittany, Andy, Chelsea. Stop by or give us a call today. Guild Mortgage, own what matters. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Meet the dedicated veterinarians at Bear River Animal Hospital. Whether you have small or large animals, they can provide high quality customized vet services, including exams, vaccinations, surgery, dentistry, x-rays, and ultrasound. Make an appointment at 435-257-7455. The KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers. Podcasts from the pros and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. I believe it's Lucy Roach that was injured senior. Up though, probably just has one major headache, hopefully. Hopefully nothing too serious. Of course with head injuries, you wanna take precautions over the top. So we will try to get to back to what is supposed to be fun, but after seeing two players go down, it's kind of put a damper on this first quarter. Seven minutes and 27 seconds remain. 
That was on fourth down. First time going to the air for the junior, well, for either team, really, but goes incomplete. It'll be a senior's possession now. Putting the ball on the 29. High snap, a little trouble with it. Olivia just falls on it all the way back to the 40-yard line. So second and 20 here for the juniors, or seniors, excuse me. Juniors in white, seniors in red if you're just joining us. I like that trickery. And down the line, cuts it back inside. Good move and flag pole, not before she gets a Frank Mace Kadoo first down. That was a phenomenal play by Buse Doe. My We're looking at it here on the CNR replay. I like the delayed handoff coming back the other way. That's us by a fresh set of downs here for these seniors. This one's whistled dead. After a few yards loss, after getting a good gainer. End around run. Time still ticks away here on the first. Olivia still at quarterback here for the seniors. It'll be a quarterback keeper. Tries to get to the edge, does. Gonna bounce it back inside. And pulled the flag at about the 10 yard line. Gonna get a lot of those yards back after the go for a loss. It'll be third and five here for the seniors. Clock will continue to roll. Juniors already have called one timeout. They get to remaining. And the flag will fall down. And no gain on the play. Another good trick play here for the seniors. Last run by number eight. Don't have that one. I believe on my roster. Fourth down. And there's going to be another touchdown. Run around to that far side. We're going to end around. Scored a touchdown again here for these seniors. They jumped the lead up. Here to 12, and there's another two points here for the seniors. I'm trying to get the video back here momentarily.
Junior's got to do something here. One more look at that. Two point. Extra play going to the air. Coming down with a catch. Number 76. Game video will get back here momentarily. Uh, I think, I think, I think. Gotta have a date someone pretty and run fast. Okay, thank you so much, Kendall. Do you know who Tom Brady is? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Back to you, Andy. <laughs> All right. We only have about a minute fifty left in the half. Go back to what might be the last play here in the first. Third and long, going to the air, got him in. Oh, what a catch. Still going. That was a beautiful first down. Great throw and catch here for the juniors. Gets them a fresh set of downs inside senior territory. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going here. The seniors will stop them. 40 seconds and a timeout's going to be called. Time out here by the junior, stopping the clock with 37 seconds. Juniors will break huddle again. 31 seconds still remain here in the first. Going to the air again. Another catch for the juniors will be pinned and the flag pulled. But juniors moving the ball down through the air. Here in this drive, and they're called their last time out. Stops the clock at 19 seconds here for the juniors. I'd like to thank Guild Mortgage, now from Academy Mortgage. Same great people, hoping you out with your mortgages or refinance. I'd like to thank New Core Steel.
First and 10, 23 seconds remain. Another throw, and this one's picked off here by the seniors. We're gonna go back the other direction, flag pole at the 20 and the seniors. Stop the juniors in their tracks when the passing game was working. Intercepted. Here on this one, we'll take another look at it here on the CNR replays. We at the tail end of that one, we go to the end of the first quarter with a score 16 0 here for the seniors. We'll step aside and be right back. Meet the dedicated veterinarians at Bear River Animal Hospital. Whether you have small or large animals, they can provide high quality customized vet services, including exams, vaccinations, surgery, dentistry, x-rays, and ultrasound. Make an appointment at 435-257-7455. Central Milling is personally invested in the quality of their products and their relationships with customers and suppliers. They are also a proud supporter of high school sports. Here to halftime, guy leader time. Enjoy the show. So I'm gonna tell a joke here for a second. All right, all right. So uh, I was playing football and I kept wondering why the football kept getting bigger. And then it hit me. <laughs> all right, we're gonna play some music for a second.
Road Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Second and ten here for the second and ten here for the juniors. Going back to pass. There's a throw caught. Huge gain to the air here for the juniors. Bring up first and 10 now. Pitch off to the left, good hole. And tries to split the defense, or flag will get pulled, but not before Frank Mays can do first down. And the juniors knocking on the door here in the red zone. First and 10 from the 15 here for the juniors. Juniors. Well, we're not going out with the fight, are we? Are we? A lot of work in here for the them junior. here in the second half. And a fumble here in the back, able to pick it up. Ball still alive. And look at this, scramble to the 10 yard line, gain of five. The juniors are in a real good position right here. Our cats get some points. So now second down. Here for the juniors, second and five. Again, don't have to get a touchdown, can get a first down. 
Trying to knock the goose egg off the scoreboard. They come out with four wide here at the bottom of your screen. Buell handed off. Oh, and a reverse all the way back. Far side, flag still on. Gets pulled a yard. Shy of the first down, but bringing up third and short here for the juniors. One more look at it here on the CNR replay. I like the reverse, backing around number nine here for the juniors. Overloaded that right side, another high snap. Brooklyn Buell trying to get it up and we'll get tackled for a loss. Here by Gracie Meads. That will give the seniors back the, or no, fourth down, excuse me, fourth and very long now here for the juniors. You gotta get to the five for a first down. Fourth and 15. Seniors, Seniors playing close up to the line. Junior's been able to get it through the air, going to it again. And they got the catch and they got a touchdown. Juniors get on the border in the second half and another pitch and catch. And a run, one more look at it here on the CNR replay. It's now a 10 point game here for the seniors as the juniors. I think this game a little bit closer. Clock stop with 9.07. Here's the point after. Brooklyn with a pitch, another run, and flag pulled all the way back at the five. So We'll keep the score right here, 16 to six. Ouch. We'll stay, let's keep it right here, see if we can get an interview on the sideline again with Claire Wood. Junior's coming out strong here in the second. You can almost feel it from here. Yeah, they knock that zero off the scoreboard, put six on. Still trailing though, here by 10, 9.07 to go. See how the seniors respond. The Meads twins in the backfield here for the seniors. Blockers in front of her. Here's a good pitch, a lot of room to run, and she's off to the races. The junior's not going to be able to catch her, and there's a touchdown as the seniors answer right back. With one play. Another reverse. We'll take it to the sideline after this replay. Run Seniors run right run back run into the end zone. Ex extends the lead 22 to six. We go down to Claire Wood.
one, is it not? And they get the two points. So a two point added on here to the seniors at 24 6. We'll take commercial break and we'll be right back. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. Central Milling is the farmer, the miller, and the baker working to preserve American farmland for tomorrow while preserving the highest quality of flour and grains to the bakers of today. Select the best products for your family by using Central. Oh. Claire, talk in the microphone. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have the most athletic guy in the world. You call. What do you think? This pass going incomplete yeah, from the juniors. That's okay though, they can come back right here. Yeah, then. See if we get that fixed for you. Get better. We're looking with the pitch over to the far side. Go take it. Oh, and taking a hit on the sideline. That's the first penalty here in the game. When we look at it here on the CNR replay. like a 25 yard penalty. Sets <laughs> up the juniors at the 25. Clock stop with seven minutes and 41 seconds. Was that a timeout that stopped the clock? Reminder, we've got Lady Bear soccer for you tomorrow. Bring the kids, they can play games during halftime for prizes. Of course, senior night, so come support your seniors here at soccer. I 
Here's a swing and wrapped up flag pole, but I think the ball was actually gone after the flag, or before the flag got pulled. They call the play dead all the way back to the 35. So second and long. Second, 20 for the juniors. Seven minutes left to go here in the ball game. Had the momentum there at the first of the second quarter, or second half rather. But then another high snap. Brooklyn scooping it up. Meads with the flag pull at the 45. Now it's third and forever here for the juniors. Broken to the air again. This one incomplete. Receiver falls down and a flag. I call pass interference here on the seniors. Stops the clock, 550. That'll get some of the yards back. So third and about 15 now here for the juniors. Ooh. Brooklyn scrambling around. And her flag's going to get pulled. Another loss on the play here for the juniors. Going to bring up fourth down. Put down, ball marked almost to the 40. Another loss of yards to the juniors. Back to a fourth and 25. Five minutes left to go here in this one. 24 6 lead here for the seniors. Brooklyn trying to get all the air underneath this one. And almost on the far side brought in. That'll go a turnover on downs here for the seniors. Taking over. Ball set at the 39. Under four and a half to go. 24 to six. We'll wrap up the week with Bear River football. I'll be hosting the Skyview Bobcats there for homecoming. We'll have all the festivities for you. And a good throw and catch, and another one play score here for the seniors. Another one for the seniors. Oh, my. Looks like Macy Coombs. I'm going to go with the PA announcer, Macy Coombs, on the catch and run. So now 30 to six here for the seniors as they ran away with this one. 30 or three minutes and 25 seconds still remain. 
And for the points after. And there's the reverse going over far side. And they'll get the two points. Kendall Archibald puts two more on here for the seniors. A reverse has been working here for the seniors. Three minutes and 25 seconds. Still have to go here in this one. Juniors aren't going to roll over. They're coming up with three wide outs up top, two at the bottom. Brooklyn looking left, goes right. Flag still on, tuck and run time. She'll have the Frank Mace could do first down at the 41 yard line. Now we go under three minutes down. left to go. And just nowhere to go downfield. Good coverage by the defense. But unable to corral Brooklyn from getting the first down. We'll take it down to the sidelines. Here with Brooklyn with uh, Claire Wood. Okay, hi, I'm here with Macy Coombs who got some more points on for the seniors. Macy, how does that feel? Pretty freaking good. <laughs> okay, and how does it feel to be beating the juniors by a lot? Pretty good, considering we got slaughtered last year. It's great. <laughs> well, I'm so happy for you. Wide receiver. Okay, and who's your inspiration for this? Um, I don't really know. Probably my coaches. Um, that's about it. The win. <laughs> okay, and who's your favorite football team? Nebraska. Cornhuskers. College football. Okay, well, back to you, Andy. All right, thanks, Claire. Oh, and that looks like it's game over. And that's for the They're seniors. gonna end it short with one minute and 59 seconds. So they're gonna call the game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for them. 32 to 6 was the final score. So that's going to do it here for this year's Power Puff. 32 to 6 for the seniors. this one up again thanks to the sponsors here for making this possible and remember we've got lady bears soccer coming up next for you then we'll finish the week off with football both against the skyview bobcats sorry for the technical hey, issues here through hey, this hey, one Again, thank you for hopping on watching. We'll see you tomorrow night for Lady Bears Soccer. Taking on the Bobcats Senior Night. We'll have it for you right here on Bear Live.